Melissa. In this video, I am going to share three secret settings that I have found to be the most helpful for running my Roland BN2, whether it's running it faster, being more efficient, making sure that I am get maximizing what I can do with this. And I gotta tell you, I really, really wish I had found these settings a long time ago, and I'm actually not completely convinced that they weren't just secretly rolled out in an update, you know, that firmware update or a recent software update. So let's head over and start in the Roland DG Connect Hub, and I'm gonna show you these three settings that you are going to want to change yourself. So first thing that you want to do is click um, into your DG Connect Hub and go to open. So this is going to open the utility, which if it's not opening, it's probably because it is hidden behind, which mine is, what you have. So um, we are going to start by going into just one material setup so that you, because you can do, you'll have to do this for each of, a couple of these options for each of your materials. So we're going to click setup and I'm gonna select my material. So the material that I'm gonna select first is this metallic holographic vinyl. So this is my 15 inch wide roll of Roland metallic vinyl. So this material only comes in a roll of 15 inches, 15 inch wide. All right, so we'll click okay. And yes, I have, um, it's all set up, so we will click okay. Now I have to put the loading lever down and the fan is gonna go on, so or the dryer's gonna go on, so you're gonna hear that, so I do apologize. Okay, so again, I apologize that the fan is on, but in order to get to these screens, I the material basically has to be loaded and ready to go. All right, once we have the material loaded and it's sent, telling us output possible, this is where we're gonna make our changes. Oops, not that. We're gonna click this little hamburger menu here and that is going to bring up the list of material settings for this material. So now what I can do is make a couple of changes. So by default, these are the changes. So one thing that I have noticed and I know a lot of you have noticed is that after you print and then before it cuts, the material, not just this material, but by default, any material, basically it extends a long time, it seems like it's like feeding the material out very, very slowly. And then it goes back to the beginning and it starts cutting. Like what is going on? Okay, that is this setting right here. So enable drying feed after printing and cutting or enable drying after printing is on. So if either one of those is checked, you can uncheck them. Unless you have a specific reason for needing your the ink to dry before you're cutting or before you sheet cut, you can turn those off and that's gonna save you a lot of time because sometimes that extra little really slow feed actually is longer than the printing and cutting in general. Now, when you're ready, you can click apply. Okay, another setting that I like to change, especially on a material that is not 20 inches wide or a material if I'm just using a scrap. And I do have a video on how to use scraps, it's on Silhouette U, and I'll link to that in the description below so that you can watch that. It is an exclusive video for members of Silhouette U where I also offer one-on-one -on -one help, but I, do not, I don't have that video on YouTube here. But if you're interested in learning how to get more out of your scraps and materials so you're not wasting so much, I do have that video on how to do that with the Roland BN2 on Silhouette U. Okay, so next that you might wanna change is how to make sure save some time by your print head not going completely across the entire 20 inch width if your material is not fully 20 inches so this option right here again we found it the same way by going into this hamburger menu and scrolling down printing movement range so this has to do with where the print head is going so if you have a print head that or if you have a material that's only 15 inches wide you don't need the print head to go the extra five inches so you can change this to say media width or output data width so if your output is only one five inch sticker maybe you only want your print head to go five inches that would save you a lot of time from going all the way across every single time or maybe you're using a 15 inch sheet of material like this holographic and you do have the full width of that set to, or you do have the uh, designs images 
to print and cut on that entire thing, but instead of it going the full width of the 20 inch that it's capable of, you just are going to change it to media width. So media width is only going to limit the print head to the width of the media. Output is going to limit the, the movement of the print head based on the data or the image that you have sent. So either one of those are going to save you a lot of time from basically travel time, all right? So you can change that. Keep in mind, these changes that we're making are only applicable per material. So you're gonna have to go into all your other materials and change them if you want, okay? And then again, click apply. And then the final um, setting that I wish I knew is actually in Verseworks. As you know, once you send your material, once you send your image to print and cut, at the end, you can click sheet cutting. So it's an extra step that you have to be standing by to make sure that your material is done and then click sheet cut. But you can actually change your software to, or per design to have sheet cutting. So let's just look at this turtle um, design here. I'm gonna open this up. And if you go down into print controls, you think it would be in cut controls, it's in print controls, you have this option here that by default is unchecked, okay? If you check it, it's going to sheet cut after your printing and cutting is completed. You can either sheet cut completely or you can perf cut. So let's say you've got a bunch of jobs and you don't want it to completely um, re you know, cut off the sheet that you just did to fall on the floor. Let's say you don't have a catch basket. You could change it to perf cut sheet cutting. If you do want it to completely fall off, then you can click sheet cut. But you have to go up here in VersaWorks per job and change this under print controls to sheet cut. To me, it makes more sense that it would be an undercut controls because it has to do with cutting, but that is where you are going to find that setting. All right, guys, are those not game changers or what? So get over there into your DG Connect, into VerseWorks, change those settings, save yourself some time. I'm actually going to do another video on how much time it saves when you do a bunch of these different uh, time-saving measures all in one job compared to using the defaults. So if you're looking for more videos on Roland, VersaWorks, your BN2, your BN20, I've got them all. Check the links in the description below. I'll see you soon.